My name still remains Abi Udeze, your regular host. Today, in continuation of this book, Greatness is a Vision, we will be discussing a wonderful topic. Greatness is a secret. Hmm. Did it make a meaning to you that greatness is a secret? True greatness is real. That is the part that makes greatness a secret. It is only those who keep secrets that can be great in life. When I say greatness is a secret, I simply mean those who are not easily accessible. Greatness come across a great man who stood up for truth, purity, honesty, and sacrifice. In the book of Genesis 39, Joseph was a typical example of that topic, greatness is a secret. Lately, I had been studying the life of Joseph and was able to find out that Joseph endured trials, was hated by his own blood brothers, was sold into slavery even when he faced accusations and was in prison. Yet, Joseph trusted God. Greatness is a beautiful goal to pursue. Greatness is not an art, but a habit. People oftentimes misunderstand the word greatness to be a mindset or belief kind of system. Something greatness is an art, but it is not. Greatness is a habit. It is a form of habit that on the back of your mind. It is something you do all the time and over time become habits and makes you great. If greatness is a kind of belief or mindset, then everyone will be phenomenal. Greatness is more than physical manifestations of our hopes and dreams. To be truly great, you need to do the right thing every day. This is a shift in paradigm and is especially important for greatness. You need to find out that particular habit of your greatness and make effort to develop it. Habit of greatness should be built. You need effort to develop such habit. There is a right habit for greatness and effort is required to develop it every day until that habit becomes your second nature. When you work on your positive habits with concrete clues, you begin to notice the benefits in your personal life to a point where you can barely recognize your previous self due to the improvement of such habits to greatness. The problem still remains that many people want to be great but are not ready to pay necessary price needed for greatness. Greatness is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice and a thing to be achieved. In the book of 1 Peter 5, 6, greatness waits for those who are humble. We need to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God that God may exalt us in due time. The author and finisher of our faith, Jesus Christ, humbled himself even unto death on the cross of Calvary. God witnessed his death and resurrection and gave him a name above every other name, both in heaven and on earth. King David humbled himself in his service to his father Jesse and he was chosen by God in anointing to be king over Israel. Moses also humbled himself and was appointed by God to let Israelites out of Egypt. The same applies to Joshua, who served Moses, and to Jephthah, Gideon, Peter, Paul, and so many others. All these people humbled themselves, and God himself exalted them in due time which is perfect greatness so we have come to the end 
of today's topic from this wonderful topic thank you for listening i will see you next time same time next week on another topic unlocking the greatness within you